Well, news, I got some excellent friends, the greatest friends a guy could have over in, well, besides you, Shug, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, some friends of mine over in Daegu, uh, Teddy and his wife, uh, he's from Canada, she's Korean. And uh, I was having a hell of a time trying to find a moving company. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to the people on YouTube. Hmm? Did you want to say something to the people on YouTube? And, uh, but they got on the horn and they um, have pretty much found me a moving company, I think. They seem, they seem like it's going to be okay. I have pulled everything out of the closets and crannies and nooks of this, this place. Now, not everything in here is mine. Some of this is, was here when I came. Um, but let's take let's take a look. So prepare yourselves for a shock. All right, um, this is what it looks like when you pull everything out of your uh, closets and just dump them in the middle of the living room. Now, those two chairs and that little whatever that thing is down there that doesn't belong to me. That came with the house, and. Um, that chest of drawers doesn't belong to me either. So I pulled everything out of that closet and uh, I brought my chest of drawers out here. I was going to give this to Stuart, but uh, I decided I can use it. And this is the uh, cat tree here. Yeah. And that's all garbage and trash. Mm. Here's an oh a beer. I keep going, I keep going over to the supermarket and buying a couple of items and then putting them in a big box, carrying it out. I guess I think you can just go and get boxes, but I I don't know. I don't want them to stop me, and uh, so I get by boxes that way. Okay, here's the kitchen. I clean my pillows. Uh, they're drying right now. My bed and my stuff. I got my Mac Mini and my Xbox and some games. This stuff, um, all this is mine, so it'll go with me. TV table's mine too. Yeah, there's that. I pulled everything out. All these, these cupboards are empty now. I pulled the refrigerator out and I cleaned behind that and I cleaned the motor compartment too. That was a mess. Um, most stuff is out of my closets. Most stuff. Well, this one, I don't think I've done anything in it yet. Yeah, I got stuff in there still. But and there's Pepper sitting on some dirty clothes. And... Uh, this table is mine, this chair is mine, that, that is not mine, that stays. That lamp, piece of sh crap lamp, is going out to the recycle bin. But, it, you know, you forget you have stuff like that. You know, you take all the electronic stuff on this desk, you don't think about it, but that's a lot of stuff, and you gotta consider that when you're moving. And I have my bicycle. Everything else out here is getting thrown away, but my my bicycle has got to come with me. Oh, and I got VHS players up there. Oh, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> you want me to put the rim back on, babe? <laughs> oh, the trials and tribulations of being my cat. So, by the end of the month, I have to be I have to be at my new job on the 28th because that's orientation day. But um, I can move. I can move any time, really. Um, but 
the realtor just told me a little while ago, she said, well, you know, if you come up here now, you're going to have to pay for the full month of February. Today is what, the 12th? No, today is the 13th. You know, half the month is gone, but I would still have to pay for a full the full month of February. So it's kind of good that I'll, I'll wait till the end of the month and I won't have to pay anything. If I, if I show up on the 26th or something like that, I'm not going to have to pay anything for rent for those last two days. So my first rent payment will be for March, which is good. Save me some cash. I need to save cash. This is costing me a fortune. Yes, it's costing me a fortune. Yeah, every time you move, you lose money. I can't think of any way to move and not lose money. Because this, the new job is not going to help you. They're not going to give you any stipend to help you move. You just got to do it all on your own. And I think most of the people they hire, though, I think are people who just get who come to Korea for a couple of years and get a little one-room closet type thing to live in, and then they're gone. I am a long-term guy. I'm committed to Korea. I'm committed to staying here. But they don't reward that here. They do not reward long-termers here. Um, the reward goes to short-term folks. And that's a little sad that Korea cannot get good, qualified teachers to come here simply because they, they don't treat them right. They don't cultivate that at all. They just cultivate short-term, short-sighted goals. If they were to cultivate long-term plans for foreign teachers, they would get really good teachers to come here and stay here. But you have to, you have to plan for that. Um, and they just have never ever in the history of this country ever planned anything as far as I can determine. All right, enough of this. Enough of this rambling about Korea. I am Mike of Korea, though. I, I should be rambling more about Korea. That's the whole purpose of this channel, was to talk about Korea. All right, I got a lot of crap to do, but I am going to open that beer and watch The Simpsons first.